the Dodgers on the road here against the Orioles. Uh, the Dodgers are uh, only a dollar forty here. Only a dollar forty. I say it like uh, they're playing some. But here's the thing: both teams came in kind of hot, Mindy. But uh, it was the Dodgers. I had them as a premium pick. Yes, you did yesterday, and uh, I don't know. It's just kind of funny. It seems like the Dodgers. We get into the late summer months here, mid mid late summer. Two big you know, matchups to get kind of a surprising team, and the Dodgers and the Dodgers <laughs> come out uh, crushing. Yeah, it's one of those like I don't really know which uh, Urias I'm getting. He has uh, pitched well in his last outing. Before that, he really kind of uh, struggled. So I mean, I think he's the real you know turning point or the unknown here. You know, a little bit in this game, I think Kremer's been doing better, especially in his last couple starts. I think he might be able to limit this Dodgers here lineup a little bit. Um, he's uh, only scored, I think. Uh, or only allow like two runs in his last four games, I believe, something like that. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Orioles. I'm still a little bit unsure about Urias and that pitching staff today. I'm going to take the Orioles here on the run line, uh, sitting at about minus 130 for the plus one and a half runs. Wow, that's a pretty good price, actually. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to join you on that, actually. I say only a dollar forty, but, you know, Dean Kramer – did have that outstanding performance. Uh, he's been good in his last two starts. So is Urias. Uh, if anything, I think we're starting, maybe we are going to get uh, the right Julio Urias here uh, moving forward. Maybe even today. Uh, could this be now? If you look up and down, other than maybe Arizona and Atlanta, which, uh, you know, putting up big time runs, not only in their game last night, but two teams that are producing a lot of overs, uh, these teams are cranking out overs big time. Baltimore has gone uh, over in 14 of their last 23 with three pushes. The Dodgers have gone over in 11 of their last 16. But I don't know, with Urias, with Kramer, uh, Kramer, uh, big time uh, units producer for gamblers. He's uh, he's a guy that you want to go. Money burner. Right. Even with his four ERA over four and a half, uh, he's been somebody that uh, you can hang your uh, money on this season. So let's take a shot here with Kramer. Let's go uh, four for four so far. I'll take the Orioles on that run line. They've still won eight of 10. Uh, Dodgers have won nine of 11. And um, yeah, I think they can uh, keep it close here today. Let's see what a uh, lot of opinion here in this game. Solo says Dodgers get the sweep. Dodgers for Blake, Fernando, Dodgers and under. It's going to be a lot of Dodgers here. Thank you, Thomas. Thomas is feeling himself in the chat today. He's full <laughs> of enthusiasm. G Man here today. <laughs> Good to see a hot boy over in this game. I'm kind of feeling like I'm kind of feeling like Mindy. I want to play some unders yet. Maybe these totals will go up. It's all you know, they're day games, so I don't we're not a lot of time, but every bullpen it might be taxed here solo the way it's going, right? Right. Uh, Bionics on the Orioles with us. Dre says go over. Perky says uh, the Orioles uh, have a weak uh, bullpen. Uh, um, they're in the top, I don't know, top 10 maybe, but no higher than that, I would think. Kramer's better at home. Peasy, right, PZ Grove. I, I think Grove has gotten kind of a – I like Grove. I, I don't like Grove at all. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, they did the job. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> G-Man on the Orioles in this one. Kevin Graham here today. Yeah, maybe even tougher with Urias. I don't know, right? Yeah, CTG, I don't know. Uh, look, Urias, is maybe he's been an underachiever so far, but like I said, I think he's kind of getting it together. And um, – or, you know, we know the Dodgers are not a money-making team despite their record. The thing with Urias, he, they're 8-5 with Urias. 
that's about a, a zero, you know, but considering how usually they're favored, eight and five, that's not probably going to be nine and five or better. Right. Uh, usually look at eight and five, laying a dollar forty, dollar fifty. You do the math. It's going to be flat line a little bit. Flatline. Doubles is here. Hey, all right, I'm Baltimore. Jacoby Fluelling is with us today on the over. 